10. Here we go. I wonder where SD's going to start. He's so fast, by the way, compared to uh, this, this Lancelot by Kaltizi, which I am more likely thinking, there you go, it is indeed on a killing spree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Kaltizi wants to also give this another go. Like, he wants to have another Make it work. A chance on this Lancelot here. Uh, he did perform so well on it pre uh, in a previous series. And at this point, you know, if TNC doesn't put pressure again on Kyle Teasy and they just kind of let him, you know, let loose, we'll, we'll see that. That's what we will see this time around. So there's a lot of things that need to fall into place here. And already both teams getting started around these early objectives. Great anticipation, though, coming in from Pandora, actually assisting the rest of the members of Brenny Sports. Meanwhile, what's about to happen? Yeah, friends still fighting for this, so they did grab the Little Wanderer. Pandora just checking things out. Might be able to poke a little bit, but nothing for now. Mm -hmm. Again, that was a great instinct coming in from Bren Esports. They know that TNC was about to force their way once again to that purple objective. So what they did was to just put Pandora, give a little bit of a presence into the map, and just force TNC to be able to dust, disengage, and stay in their lane. So now, Bren Esports is going to have a pretty good time securing objectives off their own. Meanwhile, Ogwen's going to do the opposite. Yeah, Ogwen trying to get uh, just... Put some presence there on the purple buff, but SD going to be just fine. The question, too, is, you know, if you're a few, which ultimate do you want to take here? You're happy taking <laughs> the Nuno Blast. You're happy taking the Lethal, lethal counter, counter. Everything but Yasuo and King Salman, basically. Mm -hmm. So it's good. I think that's an okay balance of the situation, yeah. You're, you're happy with what you have at this point, but I just want to take note there are four flickers coming in from the side of Bren Esports, given that Ben Things has that Numenum Blast and they don't want to have that as a problem, given that this lineup that we have here, only Ogwen has that sustain, right? And it's going to be a problem later on, but let go final blow. Yeah, already in the first fight of that turtle is going to come out. There you go, Ben Things getting kicked here. Can they convert it to a kill? They get the first blood already going to the hands of Cram, making a one for one trade here as King Solomon falls. Good trade, but also Turtle going to be secured by TNC. That was great initiation coming in from TNC. You actually managed to take a look at the objective SD that we have been missing in this previous matchup, or technically game number two. But now he has this Falmon, he has that sustain to be able to extend those team fights. Meanwhile, Bren Esports just wanted to go ahead, force a pick off just so they would be able to equalize in terms of the situation and add a jungle creep to that too. So even when TNC actually managed to get the turtle, Bren is still leading in terms of gold. And speaking of gold, Supermarket just picked up his Wind Talker. That should again open up the runway for this character to take off and take over this game. Yeah, I think that's, uh, again, I learned this fun fact from our good friend Renmar. It's one of the fastest items you can build in that gold lane, especially the Wind Talker. Under what was that? About the three minute mark. Three minutes. Very uh -huh. quick there. So, and that small item, that's the thing about the carry though, is once you grab that, your, your damage already increases so yes. much just from the benefit of everything that Carrie has in her kit. So already that is something that is going to be in favor for oh. Bren. But already into the bush they go. They're going to get caught out a little bit. Oakwood should be fine. Looking for something. Gets Ooh. the way of the dragon. Gets one kick but Kyle. falls himself. And then he'll convert it into anything. We're seeing this struggle quite often with these Cho picks. That was a very expensive engage. We saw the intent by Ogwin, but he was what? Two steps behind when it came to the response by TNT on top of 1v1. Turn about a 3v1. Making it into a 3v1. Pandora gonna get knocked up here, and that's the kill going to the hands of King Solomon. They're happy with the pick up top. Few in position, Ogwin as well, but there's way too many TNC here as the turtle comes up. They've got to be careful how they approach this. Kyle Teasy actually just not even going to bother with this as he's making his way down to the bottom side. They're going to just trade the turtle here. Ogwin showing face, going to dodge that just fine. On the bottom side, Yasuo holding his own versus Kyle Teasy. Ren, first off, had a little bit of overextensions. You're pertaining to the Ogwen play from a while ago. That was very expensive. Committing the flicker and wave the dragon, that gives you less chances to be able to engage in terms of the Lord fight. Second was the Pandora takedown on from the top side. That gives them more space and ability to be able to take the turtle uncontested, which is why now... Uh, 
Kyle TZ moved on to the bot side hope with hopes of being able to take down Yasuo, but fortunately he was able to take down or he was able to take care of his own. So yep. that's three failed attempts coming in from Ren Esports. DNC punishing that and now leading a thousand in gold. Yeah, Kyle's not ready yet. He just picked up his war axe. He doesn't have enough damage on the table quite yet. And those failed rotations are slowly going to be more and more expensive. We're a minute until the next turtle. And TNC, they want to equalize. They want to equalize map presence. And look at this. Hmm. I'm sensing something. There's, there's some malice when it comes to Super Marco. Yeah, they, they're going to wait patiently here. But again, that's the thing you kind of risk, right? Whenever you pick this Lancelot specifically, you also have the killing spree. You're five and a half minutes into the game. You really haven't been able to convert a kill yet. So this is a thing where you, you are looking for moments yourself. Kyle Tizi is trying to find any moment he can to really convert into guild, get some gold on this a Lancelot pick and just scale into the game with it. But unfortunately for him, it's just not happening. TNC's not letting it happen. The death bush coming in from TNC a while ago, they're already starting to feel that Super Marco is going to be a problem if they don't actually neutralize the situation, which is like why they went for the brush on the bot side. But given things and Bren Esports slowly managing to turn Ooh. things around, that is going to be a flicker committed by Yasubo. Five seconds before the Lord take, and now Bren is going to be in position to be able oh. to hopefully take the turtle. Good thing they were there. Few was going to try to make an attempt, bend things with a conceal. Turtle now up. Kyle T's going to be working oh. on it. Forcing the flicker. Oh, the return with the new on blast. He does land it here. Few just going to try to disengage. Does successfully for now. So also Bren able to grab the turtle. So it's two for one in terms of turtle. But TNC still looking to press some situation across the map. Touche. An amazing display by Bren Esports by acting as a threat magnet few distracted two or three members of TNC which led to taking a turtle for Kyle Tease. that was amazing it was a mechanical play coming in from Bren Esports. You really have to give it to the guys. The communication was right over there. And Kyle TZ no longer needed to be able to join in on the fight because few knew that he was going to be able to escape in that certain way. So now, TNC and Bren somewhat stayed in lane still, but Owen. Owen should be fine here. Again, I mean, TNC still in somewhat control, but overall it's still even oh. until, okay, Ogwen should be fine. No one's got a turret yet, by the way. So they're still fighting for, I guess, an advantage in terms of space. We're seeing both teams really respect each other in this game three. They're also really trying to take care of their gold laners at the same time. Now, the thing is, eventually something is gonna collapse here. Something is gonna fall as those items are picked up. The damage has to be respected already in the top side. Cram going to be able to get out just fine. But still, at what point do we see one of these two teams give in terms of that give and pull that we're seeing so far? Two things. Uh, I believe the reason why these two teams aren't really forcing out conversion so quickly is because they're afraid of the swing back. Yeah, but right now, Cram going to be the focus. Trying to clear the lane. Numenum Blast comes out under the turret. Did clear it, but it's not going to be enough. That's the damage that Kyle TZ presents. They also get the turret here, but it is going to be a cross-map trade in terms of space, turrets, and now the Lord is up. The second part is there's a quickly traded turret or objective elsewhere on the map. That's how in the zone both teams are right now. I mean, already using the conceal. They're trying to just scope out the area. Again, this Lord isn't very crucial. It's only the first word of the game, but of course, either Whoa. team will be able to convert some more turrets. Whoever grabs it, so it's already going to be half health here. New Blast be charged up, and things! They find Ooh. few, but can they get to the Lord in time? They don't, as it's secured by Kyle TZ here. TNC happy with a kill, but they trade the Lord for it, and now their eyes are set on the mid lane. Still going to press the issue here. The knockup's there. Pandora has to flicker out. Looking in Kyle. the backside, Kyle TZ not able to grab the kill, forcing them back for a little bit, but that is going to be a turret for TNC. Great sacrificial play coming in from Few, just focused on the burst damage, even at the cost of his own life. Was able to zone out the rest of the members coming in from TNC. Also, Way of the Dragon to be able to dodge that Numenum blasted up to that point. And that was fine for Bren Esports. Kyle TZ once again focused on the objectives, but Ogwe taking a lot of damage. Numenum blast! Oh, he finds two, but can they follow up on it? They don't want to just yet. King Solomon has to flicker around. SDZYZ working on the Lord. 
So already they get quite a bit. Few also half health. He's got to be careful, but he has the Noom Num Blast. Oh! oh, it doesn't matter because he just got sniped from Yasuo. That's the danger of hanging around at that percent of health when you have a Beatrix on the other side. You just know that was bound to happen. Yasuo making the game saving play, if I should suppose, for them not to be able to take more turrets and not enter to be specific. It's this guy, Yasuo, with that Blade of Despair against Super Marco that is slowly but surely giving Bren Esports a lot of map control. Oh man, they get a kill on Cram here on the bottom side. They're going to be happy with that one. It's a matter of burst versus sustained damage. Super Marco wants to hang around. He wants to get in your face, throw out those stars at you for about five or six seconds. Yasuo, happy to just throw out either a Renner or uh, a Wesker ult. So now, how does that work out? How does this team fight unfold? I think Whoa. it doesn't. It just shouldn't because both teams are happy to trade objectives. Interesting enough, though, but I mean, Bren coming out on top of that trade yeah. as they get the inhibitor turret For sure. of TNC. So, big play. I mean, that's the pressure you got to watch out for, right? Uh, yes, Yasuo has damage. He's got to be respected here, but it's already paying dividends on the decisions for Bren Esports, the plays that they're making in these lanes. TNC was cut out of proportion during that fight. They weren't expecting that Bren Esports would force their way into one inhibitor because they know that it was just a mirror remove coming in from Bren Esports. Unfortunately for the Hive, they've taken yet another major objective and this is a battle of space for both of these teams. What we wanted to see was for them to be able to take control and it is the courtesy of this guy, Super oh, Marco, just dishing it out. That was a bad move there. Coming out from Cram, trying to buy time, clearing those minions but he forgot the damage there from Bren and the CC just taken care of him oh. so quickly. Now Few just Phew. dashing out of there. The one, two, getting out of the new mom blast. So right now, Bren Esports in good position for another Lord possibly here. Few did a skedaddle. He baited and he kited those three and then got away with it. And now they are without a Numenon blast, which again, they make a beeline straight for the Lord 12 minutes in. Ren Ogwin trying to spot something, gets Ooh. the way the dragon. There's the follow from Few, gets two targets. Perfect placement there as two fall for TNC. And now Bren in good position for the Lord. Ogwin gonna get some information here into the bush. He goes, Few there to keep him at bay here. But that should be a Lord for Bren Esports unless Cram can do anything about it. He's gonna look to go in and like the final blow, but it's not gonna be enough. It is secured by Bren Esports. And now Cram getting punished here. Ben things with the flicker, but it's not gonna be enough. Now Super Marco unleashing here. And the, at that point, Bren Esports in the driver's seat to punch it into the base. Super Marco putting the super in his name right now. You could have sworn you're hearing. <laughs> He's flying. He's flying right now. I don't know if it's a bird. I don't know if it's a plane. It's just Super Marco just dancing. He's just that. dishing it out, making sure that he has what it takes to be able to take down the objectives. I have to say, though, they've managed to take two heroes from the start with the Lord fight. However, TNC fought back, taking down Kyle TC, so there's no retribution for both teams. Oh, Cram oh. was there, but no! They're going to find the kick here. Cram going to be in trouble once again. Look at the backside. It's all oh. over, though. Kyle TC. again with the iconic moves and grooves on that Lancelot and now another turret and another turret fall here Yasuo, Yasuo. on the base Kyle TZ he doesn't oh. go in getting punished there trying to be fancy and now TNC trying to defend into this game they clear the minions they have one more wave to deal with and it's TNC able to defend breathe breathe Kyle TZ felt it I could have sworn, Kyle DZ, if he got that kill, we would be looking at an end game screen. But no, TNC still had some fight in it, and they said, let's punish Kyle DZ. He's getting a little too comfortable. This is our base, and instead, we might actually see another Lord. All right, good defense coming in from TNC, Great but defense. that's a win win for Bren Esports, because even though Kyle DZ wasn't really oh. able to actually engage, there comes the disengage coming from TNC. They get the double knock up here. Ogwin trying to survive. Few goes in. Super, Super Marco gets the kill again. On King Salomon. Right now, it's gonna be the one for one trade, but it's all gonna settle because in less than a minute, the Lord is gonna be up. 
Super Marco. TNT was able to actually, you know, take control of the situation first because they managed to get Pandora. So that's enough. That's not going to be enough burst damage coming in from Brand Esports. Meanwhile, TNT lost King Salman because of the confidence of Super Marco. Now at level 15, full builds of 4 0 and 2, and he just wants more. 15 minutes in, it's clear that TNC, they are struggling. All sides of Brandy Sports' team fight is lethal. You see Few, it's burst. Mm -hmm. You see Kyle TZ, you'll again move and groove around your next. Finesse. Next thing you know, you're dead. You got Pandora, hold up! Pandora going in, because the old response from Brand, they're gonna push TNC here back is. here, they're split up! Kick comes they out! Choose ben Things! Ben Things gonna be in trouble, getting knock the up. knock up to save him some time! They're still pressing the issue here. Ben Things has to wow. regen. He has to get back to the base and get back to the Lord Pit in time. No ults, no ults. Graham trying to ults. buy some more time. There are no ults available for Bren Esports. Do they want to commit to this Lord? Great save coming in from TNC. I honestly thought that Ben Things was about to be gone during not that because he was caught out of position, but now the knock up again. Lord, half health here. SD trying to get in position. They got to watch for Super Marco and Kyle, Kyle TZ. Ogun with the kick. Oh. Can they find something? Already forcing the wind of nature from Yasuo. The shield. And it's Super Marco. Lord's going to reset here. But TNC do not want to give this one up freely. Super intense. This could be like the Battle of Thermopylae. They are funneling all of their opponents into this small alley that you're looking at here. And if TNC could have their way, they would noob and blast everyone who walks in there. And that's what both you and Ben things are waiting for. I guess that's why this Lord Dance is so intense. That's why it's so scary. They need Cram. Oh no, Cram needs to clear races and make it back. They kick SD here. Lord gonna be low. Who grabs Ooh. it? It's Kyle TZ for the noob and blast response. SD falls here. It's Super Marco again, Crap. another kill, and whatever another TNC is taken apart. Crap. Kyle TZ and it's only Cram. Oh. Cram falls. That's gonna be a wipeout in the hive, does it? They take the series in a great fashion here. Brenny Sports does it again. You hear the buzz. The Hive is loving it. TNC takes the series two to one and doing so while raising our heartbeats. It was just at that point where they knew that Kram was out of the fight. Yep. Was the point in.